Hey folks, what's going on? Forensic Golf, Atlanta Golf and Fitness. Um, so I wanna to talk to you about something that's in the news all the time when it comes to golf. And this past couple of tournaments, for some reason, it just popped back up. A lot of things just popped back up right after the PGA show. That's pretty normal because there's a lot of topics going on and those a lot of things pop back, pop back up. Before we get into the topic of the day, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button, it makes a huge difference, guys. Hit that bell to be notified, ladies, of when the videos drop, and go to that playlist and check it out. So what I wanna talk about is rate of closure. It's back in the media again, and what they're trying to say is that the better player, the elite player, has a slower rate of closure. That's not absolutely true. The Hall of Fame is full of players with fast rate of closures and slower rate of closure. It depends 100% on your release pattern. So I'm gonna simplify it. I'm not gonna go into the deep terms or anything like that. I want you to focus on one simple thing if you wanna work on your rate of closure. If you have a fast rate of closure, most of the time, those players are using more hands and more forearm supination. They're getting that trail hand back on top. That trail hand's back on top, and that's the throwing motion where that butt in the club will be pointed back towards you. For a slower um, rate of closure, those are players that tend to release more with a body opening up and the trail hand is not getting back on top. The trail hand feels it's staying underneath a little bit longer. So that player releases over here and that butt end would normally point out toward the back of them and they just lift into a finish. The Hall of Fame is full of both releases. Every tournament each week, you're gonna see both releases in there. It all depends on your style of play. If you are a player that likes using what I call the throw, and you're getting some forearm supination, and you're getting your flexion, you're going from flexion to extension, you probably have an extremely fast rate of closure. For the player who gets that body open 25, 30, 35 degrees, that trail hand stays under, they're gonna have a slower rate of closure. Just think about it like that. What is your trail hand doing? If you wanna have a faster rate of closure, get that trail hand back on top. If you wanna have a slower rate of closure, get your upper torso open more and feel that trail side hand and stand underneath. So I'm gonna hit two shots right here. First one's gonna be the throw. Faster rate of closure. Again, both of them work. The second one gonna be a slower rate of closure, I'm gonna feel my torso is opening up and that trail hand is gonna feel like it's just underneath a little while longer. It's not a major move, it's just a little while longer. Both of them work. It depends on which one you want to use. Some players will utilize them for different shot shapes. Again, don't be fooled into what's happening in the media right now today. Both of them work, and you can work on both of them by paying more attention to the trail hand. I will give you one more adjustment, one more tip. If you want to slow down your rate of closure, because the, the tendency, they say, the club stays more square through the strike zone at a longer period of time. 
which is going to give you tighter dispersions and whatnot. Okay, I don't know if there's any empirical data on that, but if you have a weak or neutral grip, it's going to be more challenging to have a slower rate of closure because with that grip, you have a tendency to go into flexion to extension. So I would get to a two knuckle grip if I want to slow my rate of closure down. Okay, folks, I had to get out the way of the, um, the maintenance man. You probably saw him go down the car path. They had We had 100% rain yesterday, and he they're getting all the water out the bunkers. So I came to another hole because I really want to finish up this video. It's important, the two things I'm getting ready to tell you. Rate of closure. So if, you, if you're a faster rate of closure person, you're probably going to play with more of a neutral or weak grip. You can play a rate faster rate of closure with the other grips, but this is going to match up a little bit better for you because most of the people that have a fast rate of closure, they're going from flexion to, a, to the throw, to extension really, really fast. And that neutral grip, weak grip promotes that throw getting there. So that butt end is what? It's pointed over here, right? If you stop that right here in this position, that butt end is pointed back to you. With a slower rate of closure, you'll notice those players normally have at least a two knuckle grip and they have the upper torso up in the air right here with the secondary tilt and that butt end is pointed behind them going to the left and they just kind of lift up into the finish. They are directly different finishes and it's a directly result of the type of exit point that they have so let's hit the first one which is the throw which is the one i'm very comfortable with i use it a lot all right faster rate of closure all righty that's the throw really easy and this is more of a body activated release which is gonna give me a slower rate of closure. But let me tell you folks, it's not nothing you're gonna pick up unless you have a high speed camera. You gotta actually look at the way the player's chest is and where that butt end is going. So here we go, a slower rate of closure. For me, a slower rate of closure, I have a tendency to pull the ball. So I have to make sure my exit point is correct. There you go. Both of them work. One of them, the throw was back here and the slower rate of closure that I was feeling I was pulling that butt in around the corner on me. That butt in was going around the corner and my torso was opening up. Around the corner and opening up versus wrist release and forearm supination. Take care, folks. I hope this helps you out. Thank <laughs> you.